Hey guys, it's Jules with Stop Drop Disney, and today I have something a little bit different to share with you. It's actually a lamp that my dad and I worked together on for the Disney New Emos. So if you're interested in seeing details about that, please keep watching. And if you love the Disney New Emos as much as I do, subscribe for weekly updates and news. So some of you may have seen this lamp because I have uh, posted it on my Instagram before as like a story item. So I've never actually posted it I don't think on my regular page, but it's been in my story a few times. The uh, shop that my dad has is called Lathrop Custom Designs, and he makes a lot of different style lamps, but usually they're more steampunk-esque. He really likes working on creating cool features to his lamps that are something a little bit different than maybe you have seen with other lamps before. But because they are a fully functioning lamp and piece of art, they are a little bit of a higher price point. So for some of you, this will just be cool to see. But uh, if you are in the market for a lamp and you also love Disney New Emos, it may be for you. So without further ado, this is the lamp that I worked on with my dad. So this shade up here is actually a photo of a few Disney books that I have. Um, and then the lamp itself is a living room scenario where you have a couch, a little chair with pillow. Uh, the couch also has a pillow and you have a nice little coffee table with some Disney books on it. There's an Alice book, Toy Story, Aladdin. A nice little coffee dish up here on top of the mantle. This is not movable. The books are not movable. Um, but you can always add additional books or if you wanted to add a blanket to the couch or even do seasonal decorations in this space, I think it'd be a really good um, place that you can kind of make your own. Uh, I definitely would add seasonal decorations around the holidays and I envision others might want to do that as well. So that's kind of why we went with a neutral color for the furniture. Um, but all of the furniture is super glued in place so it will not move it stays where it's located and if you need to shift your light around your room you'll be able to because the furniture is in place you have this nice little plant on this side um, i'll be showing you a close-up of all the features towards the end of the video but i just want to show you from a distance now so you can sort of see everything one of the coolest parts to this light is that he wired it so that you can actually turn the light on by turning this wheel. And when you turn the wheel, it turns on. And when you keep turning it, it turns off. Um, this nice lampshade is a great option, but you can also change out the lampshade if you would like. Um, I also just love the fireplace theme. You could put some of your new Emos accessories here on top of the mantle if you'd like. And you can obviously decorate the couches and chairs with other accessories that the new Emos have. But let me just show you how the new Emos fit in the chair. And also my dad is selling the a, a version that comes with Mickey. So if you don't have Mickey yet, you could buy him with the lamp, but you don't have to. You could buy him the, just the lamp itself because I know a lot of people already have their Disney New Emos collection at this point. So you can sit him nicely in the chair. You can pose him on here because he's magnetic. So I've done some poses with him before, just utilizing different parts of the lamp with his magnetic hands. You can put him on the couch and sort of have him lying back taking a nap. Or you can have him sitting on the couch with another new emo if you want. You just sort of move their hands in and then they can sit together. So it really does seat three new emos if you would like. You could also have one new emo sitting, another one, you know, having his cup of joe over the fireplace or tea if you want to look at it that way. There's a nice carpet underneath here. So that just adds a little bit of color, but not too much so that you wouldn't be able to just decorate it and add some of your own touches. And it has this nice strong wood base. So it'll fit in, you know, on a side table if you'd like it to a shelf or next to your computer like me, if you 
have an interest in that. I think this is a one of a kind custom piece. In future, we may do more Disney New Emos lamps, but they're always going to be different because each of the pieces was ordered separately and we'll just change up the styles. We may even change up the size of the base, but I really like this base because it's a lot of room to kind of play with your new emos and have them, you know, sitting on the lamp. I think this would be really great for either a Disney new emos collector or someone that just has children and is looking for a cool themed lamp for them. Um, and I just love the Disney New Emos so much that I'm constantly looking for, you know, a good place to display them. And I think this is a nice place where you can display them regularly, but it also has a nice functional purpose and makes for a nice light in any bedroom or in a den, wherever you'd like to place your New Emos. So let me give you a close up view of it and you can take in some of the features. So here are the books that I was talking about. Again, they're not movable, they're gonna stay in place, but I think it's really nice because if you did have them separately, they might get lost and at places like craft stores, there's a bunch of different options where if you wanted to have books that they're holding, you can easily get those. You could definitely add detail inside the fireplace if you'd like to, but I like that it's kept simple so you have that option to add maybe seasonal decorations if you would like. Here's the chair without poo in it. Then here's that really nice red handle that you can turn the light on and off with. It's really easy to use. And it is a plug-in light so as long as you're next to an area where you can plug a light in or you have an extension cord, it's a great option for any room. It's a close up of the mat. And there's Mickey reclining in the chair. It, there's also this nice lamp on the back table. So it definitely looks like two new emos are having a cup of tea or a cup of coffee together, chatting in the living room. And personally, I just really love it as a lamp. I think it's a really unique piece, something that you're not going to find everywhere, and a gr great display for your Disney New Emos, whatever they may be wearing. So next, I'm going to take you on a view of his store and show you some of his other lamps, but also show you the listing for this particular lamp. And I will be also leaving a link below in case you're interested in checking it out yourself. So my normal screen record isn't working, so we're going to have to do this a little bit differently today. But here is my dad's Etsy shop. It's called Lathrop Custom Designs. He has 14 sales and 5-star reviews. As you can see, most of his lamps are more of a steampunk-esque feel and, and look to them. Um, but they all have really cool features. For instance, this pipe dream lamp. It, it's uh, touch sensitive, so you can dim it and brighten it but with just a touch, turn it on and off with a touch. And he also has this really cute, funky chip lamp with a real chip uh, tin here and a Mr. Potato Head on it. He definitely likes to have fun with each and every one of his designs and so even if it's something similar to something you've seen before, he adds his own special touch and kind of gives it a nice customization. But we work together on the Disney New Emos lamp, so let's take a closer look at that one. So it's 265 for the lamp without Mickey. And if you're looking for a really nice, well-made, handmade lamp, this is going to be it for the Disney New Emos lover and just the Disney lover in general. Uh, here is a video of me switching the light on and off and then just some photos of Mickey hanging out as well as some close-ups of the little details. Thanks so much for watching guys. Even if the price point's not really what you would like as a collector, I hope you enjoyed just seeing the cuteness of it and I really appreciate you watching through to the end. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and let me know your thoughts on the lamp. Would definitely be interested in hearing some feedback. Maybe we can make a smaller lamp 
uh, of a different size if people are interested in having a lamp but just aren't at that price point. Um, but either way, just interested to hear your thoughts and thanks so much again for watching. Hope you're having a great week. Bye.